Hey everyone, what's going on? My name's Dan Giesing. Welcome to the first episode of Ship Spray. What is Ship Spray? It's when we take a look at the latest ship released by Star Citizen and enhance that ship with our incredible Photoshop skills while also learning more about the ship in the process. This week is the Drake Buccaneer. It just came out. And straight from the website, this is what they have to say about it. The Drake Buccaneer has been designed from the ground up to fly and fight the way you live. No leather interiors or hyper pillows here. The Buck is a scrapper designed to maneuver and fight above its weight class. The rough and tumble fighter can be maintained in the worst conditions in order to keep real working space crews alive. Now, what does that really mean? Okay, this is, they've kind of gone on the record and said this is a civilian alternative to the military Gladius and the military Hornet. So it's the civilian's fighter. It's, one could call it the people's champ, if you will. Um, but here's another look at it. It's, it's really sharp looking. I like the way it looks, uh, personally, and it's meant to fit in the Drake lineup, you know, so it should feel like, you know, a Cutlass, Caterpillar, or Herald, designed in that same fashion where you can actually recognize you know that it's it's a drake ship and i like it you know it's i've said before multiple times that i'm i'm not a huge military in-game military ship fan and uh how can you not be i mean how can you be look at this guy standing on top like a boss you know so i like the more civilian pirate vagabond scallywag type ships not that this is any of those but it's not a military ship and i'm pretty excited about it right now you can buy the concept pre-sale of it for $110, but let's go ahead and take a look at it a little bit more in depth here. So this is available on the website at robertspaceindustries.com. This is the Hall of Viewers, so they have it framed out in-game. One of the inter interesting things that I like to see is that there are five hard points on it, which we'll go over here in a second, but it's just a, a really pretty ship, and uh, it's 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 got that rugged feel. Um, the, the cockpit front end does remind me a bit of the Hornet. Um, which is pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at our first attempt at pointing a few things out here. So one of the things that was f pretty valuable that I found, you know, that it got me excited about the ship was that, like I said, there are five hard points. And if you're like, well, Dan, where, where the heck are they? You know, here's where they are. So there's one right there, that little dapper. There's two. I should probably number these. There's three. There's four. And there's four. There's five. I know that looks bizarre, but nonetheless, I, I mentioned earlier that, you know, the cockpit, like you could almost cut this whole thing off right here and put that and you just erase the rest of this. And it looks like the Hornet, you know, I, I don't know. I, I like that though. It looks a little bit more, I don't know, rugged, I guess you could say, uh, not to re reverberate their words, but I mean, this has got a feel of a little bit of a. Avenger mount, you know, like the monster mount underneath. I like that. And this just looks like, from this view right here, looks like you don't want to mess with it at all. Um, so really this gets us to <laughs> the second part of the show, which is when we deface the ship, right? I mean, not deface it, we enhance it. So when I first saw this, this is what I started to see. I don't know, for whatever reason, this is, I couldn't get this out of my mind. So this kind of looks like a little bit of one of those deals right there and let's just say hey that's let's color that in green and you see the same thing over here right and tell me tell me when you see it when you see it let me know because I see it and let's just go ahead let's just we're gonna darken this up here a little bit and uh, I wonder if you are you starting to see what I see and so when I first saw this, this silhouette reminded me of something and uh, if you have an artistic avant-garde mind that that can really understand this the style of, of ship design and a ship painting, this ex ship ship expertise painting, um, you see what it really becomes. It becomes a magical butterfly. I don't know why, but this thing just reminds me from the silhouette-wise. I know it's not you know Drake style or anything like that, but. I don't know, it just looks like a butterfly to me. But bottom line, what does this mean at the end of the day? For me, this is an overwhelming, and I said I was done. I said I was done, but for me, this is an overwhelming buy. I'm going to be buying this ship instantly. Um, second, this this video is done. I just like, I like the price point. Uh, you know, if you're going to come out the concept ship and it comes out at 110, hey, look, 
I'm interested every single time. And uh, the other thing is, is that, you know, it's got so many hard points. And this is, I personally, I've, I've went from the Hornet, liking the Hornet to liking the Gladius. And I'm like, this could be the ship that is really the fighter that I could see myself using for the majority of the time. But outside of that, this is the first look at the Drake Buccaneer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We took a little bit of a, a wonky look at it, but bottom line is I'm really excited about this ship. I think it, it fills a needed void in the Star Citizen current ship lineup in terms of, uh, you know, basic ships available or, you know, a fighter that's available to the everyday individual. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this first episode, of ship spray you can let me know by hitting the like button below it helps out a great deal thank you guys so much for spreading the love uh, of star citizen on the channel and uh you know i hope we got a chance to introduce this game to a bunch of new people but when you get you know you guys have shown so much love uh to star citizen on the channel i like to try different creative things like this even uh at the expense of our photoshop skills anyways thank you guys so much for watching take the time out of your day to watch and i'll see you guys next time